<laughs> What's a Pongza? It's uh, TK. You never answer your phone. Oh man, I was on this surfing journey watching <laughs> Johnny Mononic freaking surfer movie, Johnny Utah. And it's, <laughs> this movie got my adrenaline going, you know? <laughs> Which is a weird thing to do in the middle of the night. And <laughs> it's got it's got ghosts in it and he is the bodhisattva like the king of the surfers right <laughs> which, which but the, you know they gotta pay for surfing because if you ever tried to buy like equipment for any sport it's so expensive like if you, you like you see somebody do a sport you're like oh i want to go paddle boat and, and then you look at a paddle boat it's like nine million dollars so you're like oh guess paddle boating is stupid <laughs> so Johnny Utah he's like he's like a Tim Tebow because they recognize him and like he's a college football player because like outside of Tim Tebow I couldn't imagine any college football player that I would recognize right but he's surfer and uh but he's an undercover surfer and he matches up with Buddy Holly and <laughs> Buddy Holly and him like stake out these bank robbers and they're like, you know what? They dress up as former um, Hamilton cast members. And so let's go ahead and stake them out. I bet they surf because look at this guy's tan line. And so he meets up with uh, the, the Free Willy and he's like, he hits on her by like bringing up her dead parents. He's like, give me something on her so I can go and hit on her. And they're like, oh, her parents died in a car plane crash. And uh, so he's like, hey, I'm going to bring that up. That's really what women want to hear about. But it works for him because, you know, he's, he's John Wick. He could stab her in the eye with a pencil if she says no. Um, and would she, like, Johnny Utah would do that because he's totally a stalker in this. But anyway, so like he becomes friends with the surfer guys and learns how to surf the fastest I've ever seen one learn how to surf ever. Um, cause he's, but he's just pretending cause he's undercover and Anthony Kiedis is there and it's, and, uh, oh man, the red hot chili peppers are so fucking amazing <laughs> and, and Oh, God. I've seen him in concert so many times. And it's so weird to think that um, I was in the same room with the guy that kind of, you know, could kick John Wick's ass in this movie. And that I don't know why that's important to me. Because who cares, right? <laughs> so, Worst undercover cop. Like, t you don't go undercover and then tell everyone your name is Johnny Utah. That's like James Bond being like, I'm James Bond, and this is exactly what I drink, is a martini that is all brewed, so you put the poison in that drink before you serve it to me, James Bond, Johnny Utah. <laughs> they are the worst at this. <laughs> like, Obi-Wan can change your last name, okay? Because you're like, you live a block away, you creepy old Jedi. <laughs> all over all over America and it's like he finally catches him you know and he's like but let me just surf one more time and die like you didn't even need to show up to this like you didn't even need to bring out all of the other cops and waste all the taxpayer money following me forever knowing I would be here on this one date because I told you like 500 times like listen I'm gonna surf the big one and die okay and but you know he goes there and he's like okay I will dis handcuff your wrists and you go out there and die which I think is actually illegal okay um but you know he got his he got his legal license in in utah so it's like it's like different you know they have like a different constitution 
right. so so here's the point that I'm trying to make about the break. Okay, <laughs> there are two skydiving scenes in any movie with two skydiving scenes kind of completes the journey for me okay uh that uh Bodhi died in the end i think he um i think he ended up surfing away he in, in, ended up in like a tidy village in new england and danced with jennifer gray living happily ever after grinding up on the angels in heaven as we all should be able to do someday <laughs> All right, man, hey, right. I'm going to go to dreamland, all right? Uh, I love you. Call your mom.